Will a bigger transformer sound better? This question comes from Jorgen in Norway. And Jorgen writes, hi Paul, my question is about a phono preamplifier. I know a little bit about phono preamps. <laughs> Designed a few of them. Um, you often talk about how everything sounds better with bigger transformers and power supplies. That is true. I have a Project DS2 tube box phono preamp. It has only a small wall adapter transformer. Would it sound better if I made a dedicated power supply with a large toroidal transformer before it? Um, the, yes. There you go. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> a lot of people, well, one of the things I absolutely love about doing these videos, about our community, about the people that we work with is the differences of opinion. I love it. I truly do. Uh, it's, it's, it's so cool that we are so passionate that we can get riled up over my saying that the size of a transformer impacts sound quality. I, I mean, I get hate mail based on <laughs> Talk about passion. You know, poor Terry, my wife goes, I'm sorry, you got what? Hate mail because you said the transformer was too big? These people would need to get a life. <laughs> and you know the thing is, she, she doesn't get it that much, but nerds have lives. We, you know, look, we're all nerds on this bus. So, uh, how did I get off onto that nerdy tangent? Oh, probably because I'm a nerd. Okay. Um, we discovered years ago, and I think I've told this story probably a hundred times, but I'll, I'll go ahead and tell it again. I, years ago, was sitting in the music room or sound room at PS Audio. This was 75, 76, 1976 or so. And we had a big set of magna planers and uh, a turntable, of course. There was no such thing as a CD player back then. And we, you know, always went back there to listen. It, it, we tried this or that, building new circuits, and then we would listen to it, measure it, of course, but then listen to it. So. Stan had been working on some, some circuitry, and he called me and, hey, you know, come in. Set me down, put on some track of music, said, have a listen. I did. And he goes, all right. Picks the needle up. He said, I don't look. I'm just going to do something. Okay. So I just sat there, twiddled my thumbs. And he goes, all right, try it now. And I'm like, holy moly. I mean, it was huge. The difference was just... Fullness, separation of instruments, depth, body, body. I mean, it felt like it had meat on them bones. And then we went, I said, what the heck? And I thought he had done some new circuit trick. And I thought, oh, this is exciting. And we went back, uh, took him a minute, still didn't tell me what the heck he was doing. And the, now it sounds anemic and, you know. I said, what are you doing? He goes, by mistake, I... I took this big transformer and hooked it up to our phono stage because, you know, he had been searching around for a standard little transformer that we would use on our little phono stages. And they were only this big. And here's this transformer that's twice the size of the entire chassis. And I, now it's drawing no more current. It, it isn't like a lot of people think that the larger the transformer, the more juice, the more current it shoves in, but that's not how it works. A circuit takes what it needs, and you either have the ability to deliver it through your transformer or you don't. But two transformers, each able to deliver without uh, dropping the voltage of the demands of the circuit, should perform the same, yet they don't. So bigger is better. Now. We did some experiments, and one of the things that we found was it had a lot to do with impedance. So we could take a, the same core and wind thicker wire, a lot thicker wire. So normally a small transformer has fairly thin wire that makes up its, its primary and its secondary coil because it's not drawing a lot of current. But if you use thicker wire by a significant amount, that and keep the transformer the same, it'll still have the same current ability, um, it will sound better. 
So one of the keys to that happens to be lower impedance, which is a whole other subject about why our power plants sound better because of the lower impedance, because they regulate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But all right, so <laughs> that's probably enough for today. Uh, thanks for the question. Bigger is better. Absolutely. Take it easy. Thank you.